so in this lecture we are going to discuss a uh, diffusion potential equilibrium potential and marriage potential in the in the last few lectures uh, we have discussed transport across the cell membrane we have discussed that there are two types of uh, transport across the cell membrane uh, uh, one is passive transport which does not require any energy and the other is active transports which needs energy in the form of atp then we discussed that passive transport could be simple diffusion or facilitated diffusion then we uh, also discussed the osmosis osmosis was uh, basically the movement of water molecule across a semi permeable membrane so the diffusion and osmosis is basically the same uh, both of them has uh, involved the movement of ions or water molecule from a region where their concentration is high towards a region where their concentration is low for example in the diffusion of simple ions they were moving to a region where they were high in number to a region where they were low in number due to the gradient similarly in the case of water the water molecules were moving from a region where they were high to a region where they were low across a semi permeable membrane which was allowing the water molecules to pass but not allowing other any other ions to pass so basically concept of diffusion was used using the same concept we will now uh, discuss the diffusion potential the equilibrium potential and the nourish potential we know that the human body is made up of cells this is a cell in all the cells of the human body they have uh, some constituents some ions some molecules some proteins inside the cell and they have some ions and molecules outside the cells as well the most important positive ions inside the cell they are sodium potassium calcium while the negative ions and molecules mostly they are esp phosphate sulfate and proteins so they are the negative ones and this uh, the or the sodium potassium calcium are the positive one they are the main ions inside the cell and similarly some of the sodium potassium sodium potassium calcium and some negative ions like phosphate sulfate or some other negative ions might be present outside the cell due to the movement of these positive and negative ions across the cell membrane there is always a potential known as the membrane potential across the membrane on the cell membrane this is cell membrane so there is always some sort of potential or some sort of current in almost all the cells of the human body some cells in the human body like cells of the nervous system and in cells of the cardiac tissue like mm, in the heart in the human heart in these two type of cells or the cells which make these organs the cells of these cells are having excitability and they allow the transmission of rapid impulses but all other cells of the human body also have some potential which is known as the membrane potential there is some sm small di uh, difference between the membrane potentials of the neuron and the membrane potential of the a cell which is making the parenchyma of a liver or kidney or intestines and there is some different characteristics of the cells which are making the sa node of the heart and as on uh, av node of the heart or purkinje fibers but the basic concept which is making the membrane potential which is giving some sort of potential or some sort of electric current you can say to the membrane of a cell is the same so we are going to discuss that specific concept uh, those specific basics which are giving the membrane a potential let's for example we have one cell we have one cell over here and it is having a lot of potassium normally in the human cells the amount of potassium is more than the amount of potassium that is present outside the cell 
so potassium is more in the intracellular fluid and it is less in amount in the extracellular fluid so it's the amount of potassium is less outside we have assumed here that this cell is only permeable to potassium ion and it is not the cell membrane is only permeable to potassium ion only potassium can move in and out but the other ions like sodium potassium calcium phosphate sulfate proteins they are not moving they are present in the cell but they are not allowed we have just assumed as an example now we take a small portion of this cell membrane and we enlarge it here and we can see there is some movement of potassium ions as soon as we allow the normal circumstances for this cell which is only permeable to potassium the the potassium ion starts moving out of the cell because the amount of potassium the quantity of potassium the concentration of potassium inside the cell is more than the concentration of potassium the amount or the quantity of potassium outside the cell so they naturally follow their gradient and starts moving outside they start moving outside and they keep on going out they keep on going out and the amount of potassium outside the cell they keep on increasing this movement of potassium ion is due to the diffusion of potassium and the diffusion is basically due to the concentration difference due to the amount difference due to the quantity difference so this is due to diffusion but as soon as the potassium starts moving out there is also movement of this positive charge outside this positive charge is also coming outside so there is a net deficiency of the positive charge inside the cell which turns the cell negative so there is a sort of negativity inside the cell negativity develops inside the cell and positivity develops outside the cell the initial movement of the potassium ions due to the concentration difference or due to the quantity difference or due to the amount difference it is proportional to the amount of difference it is directly proportional to the amount of difference for example more the difference more will be the movement for example there are 10 potassium inside the cell and 2 potassium outside the cell and on the other hand we have 20 potassium inside the cell and we have just one potassium outside so the the movement of potassium in this condition where we have 20 in and one out will be more as compared to the this condition where we have 10 potassium in and two out because the amount of the con concentration the difference the difference between two quantities is more so more the difference more will be the movement more will be the diffusion so as this potassium ion starts moving there is a net deficiency of the potassium ion and the cells become uh, sort of negative and the outside of the cell region becomes positive here there becomes a potential difference the potential difference is nothing but it is the difference of charge between two parts so here we have some potential difference and that potential difference has been created due to the concentration difference the amount difference leads to the charge difference the charge on the outside is positive more positive and the charge on the inside is negative and more, more negative and this difference of charge has basically been created by the movement of the potassium when the more charge is coming outside more charge is coming outside the cells become negative and this negative charge now attracts the positive charge it is now attracting the positive charge so there is a movement there is a pull or there is a force which is applying or moving the potassium trying to move the potassium towards inside and this force is known as diffusion potential diffusion potential is a force which is generated due to the potential difference due to the amount of charge difference so this diffusion potential this power or this difference of charge is trying to stop 
it is trying to stop the movement of ions coming from inside the cell so that they should not come out meanwhile the concentration difference or the amount difference or the quantity difference is pushing the so potassium out due to their diffusion so there we have a fight between a iron man and superman the iron man is trying to go out while the superman is trying to stop him so one power is moving the potassium out the other is trying to stop the movement of potassium and a times come a point is reached when there is no net movement of potassium from inside towards the outside there there is no movement of potassium from inside the cell towards the outside the cell you can see here at that point it at that point at which the diffusion potential or the charge difference is able to stop the movement of potassium from inside towards outside that point is known as equilibrium potential or nourished potential so diffusion potential basically it is trying to stop diffusion potential is uh, trying to stop the potassium stop the potassium stop the potassium but at times reach when it completely stop the movement and there is no movement at that point which there is the no movement and both the powers the power to come in and the power to go out get it equalized that point is known as equilibrium potential or the nourished potential and this nourished potential or equilibrium potential can be calculated with the help of equation known as the nourished equation this is basically the simplified form of nourished equation we have al already discussed the full form of nourished equation nourished equation dependent upon the concentration of ion if we are considering potassium then we will add the concentration inside the pota of potassium and we will add the concentration outside of the potassium and we will calculate the nourished potential for the potassium the nourished potential to stop the movement of potassium towards outside it is minus 94 it is minus 94 millivolt for the potassium only if we assume that there is no movement of sodium calcium phosphate sulfate protein glucose etc but ideally this is not the story and we will uh, we will explain the things as we go ahead and we go and we discuss the action potential so now we discuss another example we have discussed the example of potassium when there is no movement of potassium but you should remember that potassium is positive ion when the nourished equation the nourished potential or the equilibrium potential of potassium is achieved there is net negativity inside the cell and net positivity outside the cell because positive ion has gone outside the cell so more negativity remains inside so more negativity remains inside while more positivity positive ions are on outside so more positivity on the outside now we consider the example of sodium now we have a hypothetical cell which is the membrane of which is only allowing the movement of sodium but we know that the amount of sodium inside the cell is very less and outside the cell the amount of sodium in the extracellular fluid outside the cell the quantity of sodium is very high but this membrane is we assume just for example that this is only allowing the sodium ions to move in or move out and it is not allowing the potassium calcium sodium phosphate etc when ideal circumstances are met for this cell membrane the sodium starts to move in due to the diffusion because we have discussed in the passive transport that the it is basically the movement of ions from a region from a region where they are high in amount high in quantity towards the region where they are low so diffusion starts diffusion starts and the amount of sodium inside the cell starts increasing as the amount of sodium inside the cells starts increasing more positive charges are coming towards inside more positive charges are coming towards inside and cell becomes sort of more positive is compared to the outside 
because when positive charges will be moving inside some the negative charges which are normally present in the extracellular fluid they will remain the same so this extracellular fluid will become negative as compared to the inside cell at this point then we have some potential difference difference of charges and this difference of charge or the potential difference potential difference it give rise to a power known as the diffusion potential which will stop the movement of which will stop the movement of sodium inside now this iron man on the inside is trying to stop the superman that is coming from the outside so the concentration gradient is moving the sodium towards the inside the cell while the diffusion potential which has been generated due to the charge difference it is trying to it is a diffusion potential is trying to stop the movement of sodium and while the concentration gradient or the difference in the quantity or the amount is trying to move the sodium inside a point will come when there will be no net movement of the sodium and this diffusion potential will be able to stop the movement of sodium towards inside in this case iron we iron man will be able to stop the superman and he will not become he will not be able to come inside so the point the point the exact point at which this diffusion potential is able to stop the movement of sodium ion towards inside the cell that point will be the equilibrium potential or the nearest potential for the sodium ion and that nearest potential or equilibrium potential for the sodium only will be calculated by the exact same equation the nearest equation so for the sodium ion if the cell is only um, allowing sodium to move in or out the inside cell will be positive because sodium is positive and it is bringing more positivity towards the cell inside so cell will be positive while outside the cell extracellular fluids extracellular space will be sort of negative and the potential difference here will be stopping the movement of sodium and towards inside while the potential difference here in the case of uh, potassium will be stopping the movement of potassium outside the nearest potential for potassium alone was minus 94 millivolt with this equation when we when we put the normal concentration which uh, we have discussed the normal concentration of potassium here or and when we discuss the when we put the normal concentration inside and outside the cell of sodium in this equation we will get the nearest potential of sodium which will be plus 61 millivolt so if only potassium is allowed the nearest equation of the cell membrane will be minus 94 millivolt but if only sodium is allowed the nearest potential or the equilibrium potential for the cell membrane will be plus 61 but that's not the story that's not the complete story because cells, cells also have the potassium phosphate the sulfate protein calcium they are also trying to move in move out a lot of substances are trying going in and going out so we will discuss all those things in with the help of goldman equation in our next lecture so stay tuned thanks a lot for watching the video